All right, if you're hoping to eat healthier, maybe just a little more nutritious in the new year, you might need some inspiration. We have some simple and nourishing recipes that may help. Tara Newbaum is live from her kitchen with the details. Tara, I heard you say you're making cabbage soup. I'm interested. You're really going to have to sell me on this one because I don't know. Okay, well. Leslie, I made it earlier this week and as I was eating it, I was like, hey, I'm going to share this on Friday because this is a great way to just kind of reset your gut and get some nutrients in this new year. It's a great time. It's cold outside. So a cabbage soup recipe and it's easy. That's what I wanted to share is just easy recipes that people can do. So I have two cloves of garlic in here that are already minced and uh, we're just doing kind of like a one pot thing that you don't need to do anything besides combine all of the ingredients. This is a half head of some chopped cabbage and then I'm using three cups of bone broth. Now let's talk about some of the nutritional benefits of these things. New, uh, bone broth, great for your gut gut health, great for your immune system, cabbage, great for digestion. So uh, that's all in there. And then we have um, some green beans here. This is just a bag of green beans from the store and I chopped those all up. And then we're gonna take some fresh parsley and combine that on top. And then you're gonna take one can of diced tomatoes uh, that are fire roasted. You're gonna keep the juice and everything in there and uh, put that in your pot. And then you're gonna take about three small russet potatoes or one really big one, two medium size, you know, you get the point there. And then we're gonna take a couple of bay leaves and put those in our pot. And then for a little bit of spiciness, you can add some Tabasco sauce. You don't have to add Tabasco if that's not your thing, but I think this gives it a lot of great flavor. Okay, and then what's really gonna give this soup some great flavor and has some amazing, amazing um, antibacterial, antifungal properties is oregano. So love incorporating this into our diet. And uh, this is about a tablespoon and a half. You can adjust as needed um, as you're cooking this soup, as you're tasting it. And then we're gonna add a bunch of salt and some pepper. So, like I said, we're just making this easy. We don't just saute anything before we put this on the stove. Now, what you're gonna do is you have all of the ingredients in here. You can add one or two cups of added water. I don't like to do that because it kind of dilutes the bone broth. I like it very flavorful. So you're gonna put, you're gonna bring this to a rolling boil on the stove, and then once it boils for about two minutes or so. You're gonna bring it down to a simmer and it really just depends on how crunchy you like your vegetables. I like mine with a little bit of crunch but pretty tender so I let it uh, simmer for about an hour but I would say kind of check on it after about 45 minutes to an hour and it will be so delicious, so nutritious for you and uh, I'll be posting this recipe on my Instagram page here on Fox 7 and we have a fun little lineup for you this morning. If anybody watching hasn't made breakfast yet, I have a great little uh, maybe breakfast snack healthier cookie idea uh, in the next hour of Good Day Austin. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna throw this on the stove, Leslie, and uh, we'll check back in with you guys in about an hour and uh, see how it turned out. All right, perfect. I See, my error was underestimating your recipes because that looks really good, Tiara. <laughs> how great does that look? Yeah, it looks delicious. And it, could you and very, add a little very, bit of- Very, nutritious. Yeah, could you add a little bit of like chicken to make it a full meal? Yeah, you could, absolutely. So I would highly recommend adding some sausage here. You could Ooh. also add some celery, carrots, onion. So there's a lot of ways to really switch up these recipes, which is, you know, what I'm hoping to share is just giving people ways to cook a little bit more nutritious, give them kind of a baseline, but add your favorite veggies, zucchini. You love it, add it in here. So a lot of ways to kind of spice this up. And like I said, if you want it a little bit spicier, you want some other um, different herbs in here, you can throw it in. Um, the bowl is your oyster. All right, sounds good. There you go, Central Texas. Don't underestimate Tierra's cabbage soup like I did. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks Tierra.